Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use PZEM device for energy monitoring, it connected to ESP82-66, to and for dashboard, I will use node red to show the value of PZEM reading. This is the wiring, connect CT coil of PZEM to terminal, the wire color is red, and black. Connect the cable to the AC power on the PSM terminal. On the small socket, connect the VCC, and ground to the 5 volt adapter. I'm using a micro USB power adapter, which I've also connected to the power in ESP to power up the ESP. As RX pin, I'm using pin number 14 or pin D5, connecting it to the TX pin on the PZEM. For the TX pin, I'm using pin number 12 or pin D6, connecting it to the RX pin on the PZEM. Make sure the connections cross between RX and TX. As an additional component, I'm using an LCD to display the data obtained from the PZEM. To begin measuring energy consumption, attach the PZEM coil to one of the cables leading to the load. In this video, I'm using an inverter to power the motor as load. Okay, before powering on, ensure all connections are correct and in place. This is the library used for PZEM in this experiment. Go to its GitHub repository, download the file, extract the downloaded file, and place it in the Arduino libraries folder located in your documents. Here's a simple code to read the PZEM sensor. Configure the RX and TX pins, then upload the code. After uploading, open the serial monitor to view the readings from the PZEM sensor. In the serial monitor, you can observe several parameters read by the PZEM, including voltage, current, power, energy, frequency, and power factor. In this video, I'm disregarding the accuracy of the values obtained. To achieve accurate values, calibration with a more precise measuring tool is necessary. Adjustments in the code are required to ensure the value's approximate accuracy. Next, here is the improved code to display data on an LCD and store the data in a holding register, where my ESP is used as a Modbus TCP server. Later on, Node Red will read the values in the holding register to display them on the dashboard. Connection using Wi-Fi, don't forget to configure the SSID, username, and password. This is the configuration of the holding register, used to store the readings from the PZEM sensor. In the loop function, this is the code to update the LCD display according to the readings obtained and here is the code to store parameter values in each holding register. Since the data type is float, I divide it into two parts, the integer value and the decimal value, stored in different registers. Switching to Node Red, this is the flow within Node Red that establishes a connection to the ESP as a Modbus client using the Modbus node. Configurations such as IP address, function, and register address are set within the Modbus node settings. In the function node, the values obtained from each holding register in the Modbus node are retrieved. Then, these values are combined, uniting the integer and decimal parts for each parameter since they are stored separately in the holding registers.
From the function node, the payload for each parameter is sent to several visualization dashboards such as gauges and charts. The data displayed on the gauge includes voltage, current, power, and energy. Additionally, these values are also shown on a chart to visualize their changes over time. Here is the node red dashboard that has been created. You can see multiple gauges displaying real-time information such as voltage, current, power, and energy. Additionally, there's a chart visualization displaying the changes in data over time. On the PZEM hardware, after connecting it to power, the LED will start flashing, indicating that the device is able to read values. If the LED doesn't flash, it usually signifies an error during the reading process. On the LCD display, you can view the values of parameters being read by the sensor. Make sure the PZEM coil is properly attached to one of the cables that will be measured for energy consumption. Now, let's power on the motor to observe the changes. Initially, when the motor is off, and then when it's switched on gradually increasing its speed. We can observe that the power value increases as the motor is turned on, and as the motor's rotation speed intensifies, the power value also increases. Next, I access the node red dashboard using a tablet. We can see the dashboard displaying the current energy consumption parameters as well as the changes in values on the line chart. When the motor is turned on, the power value on the gauge will gradually rise, albeit with a slight delay. Conclusion, the PZEM sensor can read energy consumption parameters such as voltage, current, power, energy, frequency, and power factor. The PZEM can be connected to an ESP8266 to read sensor values, and the ESP can act as a Modbus TCP server to store parameter values in holding registers. Node Red will connect to the ESP as a Modbus TCP client and read the values stored in the holding registers. These values will be displayed on a dashboard page with visualizations like gauges and line charts. In this video, I'm disregarding the accuracy of the values obtained. To achieve accurate values, calibration with a more precise measuring tool is necessary. Adjustments in the code are required to ensure the value's approximate accuracy. Thank you for watching. The necessary files can be downloaded. I've placed the links in the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.